What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great start to your day. I know I am because we got a player to discuss as reports over the past couple hours at the time of recording this through John Heyman for the MLB indicate that the Mets are showing interest in free agent outfielder Starling Marte. So that's what I'll be breaking down in today's video. Everything there is to know about Starling Marte, why he would potentially be a great fit for the Mets should they land him, what is the likelihood of Marte landing in Queens versus other clubs, and so much more. So as always, guys, make sure you stay all the way till the end video follow the detail my thoughts on starling Marte and his current connection there with the mets if you guys end up enjoying this kind of mets content and you want to see more great mets content like this don't hesitate from smashing that like and subscribe on sharing this video with your friends on the notification bell all those great things thank you again for the continued support folks but let's jump right into today's video Starling Marte has always been a very ideal fit for the Mets this offseason in addressing their outfield. That's why I discussed him as an option in a previous video when breaking down the Mets offseason outlook. There are two guys that come to my mind. I'm going to be talking about them a lot this offseason. I fully expect the Mets to be connected at least one of the two. And that's starting with Starling Marte. That's my A's guy for I sure. Think. And there's obvious reasons why Marte is such a hot commodity at this year's free agency for numerous teams, not just the Mets, even at the age of 33, because he was an absolute horse this past season, especially spending time with the Miami Marlins and the Oakland A's after being traded there at the MLB trade deadline. This is a guy who had 133 WRC+, plus, which is fantastic, at F4, which is Fangraph's win above above replacement of 5.4 heavily valuable especially on the offensive side of the ball with 47 yes 47 stolen bags barely got caught had over 20 stolen bags straight with the, with this time with the Oakland A's down the stretch of the season without even being caught to begin with is someone that hit 12 home runs but can hit north of 20 in his career as he's done in the past and also at 55 RBIs can go beyond that with a more offensively gifted club on um, base wise was an absolute machine pushing north of 400 to 2021 throughout his career 345 on base 451 slugging in his career and a 289 career average this is someone that can get on base consistently a great contact hitter and has a defensive ability that would be fantastic for a team like the new york mets because what makes Marte so appealing isn't just the fact that he has all these tools not to just be a leadoff hitter in your lineup but anywhere where you put him to consistently get on base but it's also someone that has a strong arm defensively, can stretch out like no tomorrow, has speed, and will give the Mets the ability, should they wish to seek it, to shift a guy like Brandon Nimmo, who's been very injury prone in his career, in part with hustling his tail off in the outfield, to put him in left field, to put less stress on him, something he's more comfortable with, and giving Marte that ability to do what he's done best throughout his career at center, and someone that is high flying, and one has an arm that is stronger than Nimmo's currently. So you already kill two birds with one stone, potentially, by having Marte in center, shifting Nimmo to left that way you don't have to worry about your gamble on playing guys that aren't natural left fielders and left field like someone like a Dom Smith in which we don't know what his future holds same thing with Jeff McNeil to a certain extent among others so you already have a stronger outfield and the Mets can go down other routes on Marte should they wish they could really use him as a potential Michael Conforto replacement should they let Michael Conforto walk or he goes elsewhere they could use him in right field because Brandon Nimmo can handle center just fine but they really want to maximize the potential of Nimmo one not getting hurt and two having a stronger arm in his position left field ideally right now does make the perfect sense at least in my opinion from everything i've seen to this point so marte high flyer age shouldn't be an issue get him on potentially a three-year deal which feels most ideal maybe a fourth year option but three years really feels like that sweet spot for someone like starling marte and a lot of teams will be interested so wouldn't be surprising if a bidding war did transpire in order to acquire him but no less this would be an absolutely fantastic move for the mets something that is not going to be too much bane for your buck at all you're going to get someone that that's not going to cost you, you know, 100, 150 million dollars, anything like that. You should be able to get him at most in the 100 mil range, but should be less than that, depending on how the bidding war that will probably inevitably take place commence. But Mets fans, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about a guy like Starling Marte? That's been a proven guy to have all the versatility in the world, both offensively, defensively, consistently gain on base and stealing bags, something the Mets have drastically been needing improvement on in years past, which will obviously help you get more guys around as a scoring position and hopefully actually score something the Mets need to address as well so make sure to let me know all your thoughts in the comments below if you would like to see Marte land with the Mets if you think it's likely unlikely and again folks if you enjoyed this Mets content and you want to see more great Mets content like this on all coverage regarding the offseason make sure to smash that like and subscribe on sharing this video with your friends follow the notification bell all those great things thank you again for the continued support I'll talk to you soon let's go Mets baby